how many seagulls are standing right on the top of this roof some of them are even behind and on the other side there's also quite many i'm not going to exaggerate that far to say 150. holy crap i was just about to bother somebody in that workplace with the flashlight well hello a good night it is 12 15 a.m on friday august 6th it is warm this fan is making it even a bit warmer that one out in the balcony and we are waiting for the hottest day of the year right before we head into some more promising weather which will give us a two-day break from the heat i wonder how these guys are enjoying this plane at this hour of night probably watching a documentary on national geographic huh <laughs> no what a joke so i spent some of this night working on a timer 15 minutes and i worked all the way look i worked all the way from right here and then i got all the way down to until around here because i had already created the slides as such like these ones from before but i had done a lot of work on the timer and i'm planning to put this one on my gaming channel so yeah you just seen that that's a timer that i have been working on powerpoint and i am planning to put it on my game channel this is the fourth timer that i am exporting onto my gaming channel made from powerpoint I have done this kind of thing for three other timers, like go on the Movie Maker software and then add some really interesting and uplifting music, somewhat uplifting, and then export to the folder and put it on my gaming channel. And when I say folder, I mean like that folder that I keep my timer videos. Oh. Yeah, so it came kind of cold in this room after I turned the AC to such a low temperature, preparing for the hottest day of the year. That's pretty crazy. And look at me. I got up looking like ready, about to go to military already, right after having done two and a half minutes of plank. <laughs> Literally, I don't even mean that, but... I have finally exported that timer that I was just talking about. It's been up there for an hour. Like when I create these timers, I do them for challenges. Like I use those timers for challenges. In one of my constant game videos, I played the Sudoku puzzle and even the easy mode is so hard to get it done under 10 minutes like sometimes you can't keep track of where to put the one where to put the five and sometimes it just gets really confusing and your brain gets super puzzled when you have to replace one number with another well yeah anyways so here's something pretty odd all these plants have turned red i have no idea why we're still in the summer season like some yellow some brown some red this is utterly strange. Thankfully we got this all cleaned up. Here we go. On our last road trip it was so dirty there was like dust everywhere. Around now it looks so much better. Well, oh man, crappy drivers everywhere. Around here, I hate them. Oh, what the, the heck was that? <laughs> man, let's jump off when we see us. <laughs> oh right, well I guess we finally got some of those that weren't even available the other day. Some that haven't even cooled down quite yet but yeah so i don't think the 
Okay, so the classic chocolate I believe has froze at a good temperature probably. If I want to know, I guess it's newer, that's why. Okay, yeah, we're still waiting and there's still nobody at the register, which is weird. Oh, okay, no, that's just not a customer. Strange. At least it's unfortunate the vanilla is back. I know. Yeah, I believe it's been like three years since the last time that I had in this flavor. I'm so glad it's back. I missed it. Hmm, okay, good. We just made it right on time and there's a DS. I guess this is even newer than the 7 that we have. And that was a fast job. We had lunch and then we had a look at this car, which is apparently a DS7. I thought it could be different, but even though there's this logo right next to it, it is still a DS7. Yeah, I believe that logo suggests that the DS7 is a newer crossback version than a typical car in the store. I believe many of them tend to be SUV cars. Well, today was just a day that, like while you wait in line to get stuff, looks like everyone just went off and hopped and hit like rabbits, like it's Friday and you're leaving work and when you're leaving work, you're taking your bag and you're hopping like a rabbit out of work saying, finally, it's done. And this and that, finally, you're ready to give yourself a break. This and that, it was that kind of mood that it was all at about today. But it was still pretty fair enough. They had a pretty big collection of things over there. Nothing really too new at all whatsoever. And then getting back home, I put another timer for two and a half minutes doing a plank. And I have to say it really is not easy, but that's how I train myself when I don't go to Mars Athletic Club. All right guys, so I just went on to Traffic Rush just to make me learn how to drive. This game gives me somewhat an opportunity to make me learn how to act much better in the traffic. There we go, we got plenty of, oh, that was a coin right there. That wasn't even another driver. Plenty of cars coming up this side. Oh, now I got another. Oh, there we go, I got a coin, good. All right, there we go. That's the second level completed. Wow, now we got four cars all the way behind us. Oh, great, nice. This is some, I'm just trying to be an advanced. Oh no, oh my God, I made an accident. At least this is not real life. That was so close though. Whew, man, I could have bumped into that taxi if I would have collected that coin too soon enough. And we still got another few stations over here. That should be the finish. That could have been an easy catch for that coin. And that could have been a near miss. And one more level. Oh, how many? No way. Just 12%, 12%. Oh my god, that was so... No way! So guys, the next time that I do a challenge video on my gaming channel, I am going to use it for traffic rush. Again, it's not real life, but it's that kind of game that makes you learn when to act, when you get into the traffic, when you have to move the directions of the vehicle, and the timing as well. Just plenty of service workers all the way down here. It's always the noise of those workers. Well, yeah, that challenge, yes, it is pretty important. Although it's just a game, like it's just a challenge I can learn things. Well, anyway, guys, so I'm about to head into session in 24 minutes. I will see you after sunset. Eventually. It's 7.09 with the eye of the tiger. Good to be free. Well, at least it wasn't too bad. For the first time in over two months, I had it perfect without any internet disconnection or whatsoever. And it is already post sunset now. Look at how many seagulls are 
standing right on the top of this roof. Some of them are even behind. And on the other side, there's also quite many. I'm not gonna exaggerate that far to say 150, but there's quite a big number of them sitting around. Well, that's just about it for today. At least today has been more productive than yesterday. But I do have such a surprise. And just to say thank you, like I never thought I could make it all the way there or I never thought such thing like that would ever happen. Just to say thank you, folks. Because I had a look at my video from yesterday on YouTube studio and within 24 hours, it has 107 views. 107 views in 24 hours. While the previous one had 18, and then 40, and then what's the other number? 28, 45, and then 53. Well, not too surprising for not so famous me. Who knows? I'm not one of the 0.001%, come on. So don't make a big word out of it. Anyway, so Maze Runner. All that really happened yesterday was just a baby tantrum though. I guess this is why. Like when someone throws a tantrum, like just messing around and crap, then obviously that makes you think Ah, man, he's just three years old. He can do whatever he wants. Nothing really is a big deal. He's just three years old. Whereas, like, you take a footage of a 105-year-old guy bashing his head onto the table five times. And I'm pretty sure that is something that could even get to 10,000 views on YouTube on one day think about the video with the most views on youtube which from what i know is that baby shark parody anyway guys that's the end of today's vlog thank you so much for watching and tomorrow's gonna be a more productive day i will see you then